a pre-World War II Navy biplane. Why is it called a biplane? Two-seater? Two seater. <laughs> Two okay. Obviously, you know, this is a propeller, provides the thrust, engine provides the power. So if we can find some power. We've now got the power. Where, since it's a Navy plane, where does it take off and land from? Ship. That's right, got it. So we've got the power, we've got the thrust, and now take off. What's one of the first things pilots do even today once they take off in an airport? Yeah. Yeah. We've got to put the landing gear on. Yeah. So now the question is why do we have to put the landing gear on? The plane will fly very well with the down. Aerodynamics. Less drag, sleeker look, it'll fly faster. <laughs> and it will also save on fuel. Now, if this is a Navy fighter plane, what are those two things up on top? Guns. They're guns. Now, if we see the enemy and we shoot these guns, do you see a potential problem? Yes. What's the problem? Propellers. We're going to shoot our own propeller down. So what they did, this little square box sitting in front, called an interrupter, and it mechanically stops the machine gun from shooting when the blade's right in front of the machine gun. Wow. Now, it looks very simple now, the propeller is going very slow, but in a real plane it's a blow, so, but it works, so it's hard, I find it hard to believe. Now, we want to land back on the aircraft now, what do we do? Landing wheel. Now, have you ever watched an airplane land at an airport? Pilot touches down, he applies his brakes, taxis down a long runway until he stops. This plane has two problems. The deck of an aircraft carrier is very short and it has no brakes. Ooh. How do we stop it from going over the edge of the ocean? Parachute? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. If you look at the rear of the plane, a white wire along the floor. Oh, okay. That simulates the hydraulic cable across the deck of the aircraft cabin. Now watch the rear of the airplane. Can you You have a tail hook that comes down and snags the wire. Now, every Navy plane, even the modern jets today, there's only one way to stop them, and that's with a tail hook. They come in at full power. If they should miss the tail hook, they just go up, around, and just keep trying until they can build it. There's no other method that the Navy has ever come up with to stop the jets. Wow. He works on the tail hook. He works on the tail hook, yes. Oh, he worked on the tail hook. Oh, because he always told